We're on Michigan's Upper Peninsula in the St. Mary's River with two-time NWT champion John Hoyer. It's mid-morning of the final qualifying event of the season, and the tournament is off to a late start. We're officially under a fog delay, 15-minute fog delay. There's beautiful blue skies above us, but there's literally zero wind. There might be minus one mile an hour wind, actually. That 15 minute delay stretched into nearly two hours before conditions were safe enough to release all 97 boats out of Sault Ste. Marie and onto the river and the big waters off Superior and Lake Huron. On this system, anglers have a lot of water available and a variety of options. You know, this is one of those places where there's just endless opportunity. Um, obviously, it's a huge system in the river itself, um, but then we have the lakes on both sides, Superior and Huron. Um, but I really like this place a lot just because it, it just fishes just like another Great Lake. It is a cool place. It is probably one of the most beautiful destinations you could possibly go to. Uh, there's some giant fish in here. They're tough to find. Like, they have a million places to hide. There's bait everywhere. Um, so it's just a really challenging body of water. Uh, which makes it fun, it makes you appreciate every bite that you get, um, but it's just, it's definitely one of them bodies of water that's not a numbers tournament. Coming into this week, Dwayne Jelm is the hottest angler on the tour, and it's not even close. Finishing first or second in five of his last six events, the reigning progressive angler of the year is leading the points total once again. But fishing the Sioux is a whole new challenge. Um, it's so beautiful. But honestly, I haven't even seen, you know, a third of, of all the water out here. It's so big, um, so many different Fish. things going on. Uh, for me, this week, I basically just kind of pick a couple different areas and then just try to break down that water the best that I could. That's a lie. Um, and I'll be honest, this tournament's going to be a little bit tough. Um, it's one of the tournaments where I could go out and I could weigh 15 pounds, 25 pounds, 30 pounds, or I might zero. 19-incher, mm, but fat. Well, we were just getting ready to leave this spot. That's, uh, that's our second fish here. Just getting ready to leave this spot. And uh, I rolled around this corner and I seen one sitting out there and I cast at it and I immediately see my bait going down. And I ripped it up once and the thing, like I just never even see my bait fall anymore. And it was like a 19 inch. I thought it was honestly a little bit bigger than that. But at this point with the fog delay and everything else, we'll definitely take them and we can call in this tournament. So. Just having five in the box is very, very important. If Dwayne is the hottest angler on tour, John Hoyer is a close second. With three top fives in the last four events, the two-time and reigning overall champion is also second in the progressive point standings. I mean, it's it's been so much fun this year, uh, you know, traveling to each of these tour stops, and they've been tough bites, but, you know, we've gotten just little clues each time and then been able to execute in tournaments. So I couldn't be happier for Dewey, and I'm hoping to tighten it up for a straight-up showdown at Devil's Lake. Coming off a tough All practice, right, Hoyer is throwing a Berkeley champ swimmer. Fishing with co-angler Mike Bame, looks like they're off to a good start. Come on. One of my yeah, favorite boy. places on earth. Um, that was kind of my mindset going into it. You know, I can't wait to fish here. Your second one. And I've had little glimpses of that, but overall, practice has been like, I don't want to call it terrible because I just keep exploring, but it's been tough to get bit. Like you don't just get bit everywhere you go. It's very, very specific area. Come on. <clears throat> That's a little bit more of what we came here for. Check this out. Today's going good. I had that little flurry. I set the hook like three times in 15 minutes and now it's just been slow, but uh, boats left. So now I can kind of expand a little bit. And I just saw the one big one hiding right in the weeds. So made the perfect cast, just snapped it super hard over its head and felt the best bite in walleye fishing. Just boom. Back in Sault Ste. Marie, where it turns out more than half the field failed to bring in a five fish limit. Checking into the top, rookie pro Owen Wilcox stepped to the scales with a limit for 21-13. He'll launch tomorrow in fifth place. John Hoyer continued his hot streak, weighing 24.02 for fourth. Wisconsin pro Isaac Lockage finished the day out in third with 26 pounds, four ounces, while Corey Heiser locked up second with 28.03. And when it was all said and done, it was Max Wilson, the 2018 NWT champ, back on top, weighing five for 33 pounds, three ounces. 
Here's a look at the Bass Pro and Cabela's leaderboard. For the complete list of standings or to check out the schedule for the 2024 season, look us up at nationalwalleytour.com. Coming up, we'll launch day two from Sault Ste. Marie, right here on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour, presented by Progressive. The 2023 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour, presented by Progressive, is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Outboards, go boldly. If you want to be here, it all starts here. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we have the widest selection of the quality brands you love to get you outdoors. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, our friendly, knowledgeable outfitters will help you find the right products for your next trip. Shop with confidence with our low price guarantee. Plus, club members save even more on great gear with exclusive member pricing. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, voted America's best outdoor retailer. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Hey, all you boaters out there. Any way you float, float protected with Progressive. They insure over 1 million watercraft just like yours. Get a quote for your boat today. Insure your passion. Hey, RVers. Any way you explore, explore protected. With Progressive, a leader in RV insurance. They make it easy to quote and the process takes as little as four minutes. Get a quote now. Insure your passion. There are people who know that there's more to getting there than just getting there. Who know that going fast isn't fast enough. And who know living isn't the same as feeling alive. There are people who aren't afraid to stand out, make noise, make waves, and never look back. This one's for them. The Mercury 115 horsepower and 150 horsepower Pro XS Outboards. Built to win tournaments. Designed to win your heart. Mercury, go boldly. Back in Northern Michigan, this is day two of the fourth and final qualifying stop of the season in the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive. Only the top 40 in each division will make it to the championship. So for many, there's a lot riding on the next eight hours. We launched this morning from Sault Ste. Marie on the St. Mary's River with your 2018 National Walleye Tour champion and day one leader, Max Wilson. Um, I've been in this position before so I know it doesn't really pay to get too excited. Um, just gonna go out and do what I need to do today. I'm five bites away from getting it done. Um, and it's very attainable. The bite I'm on, uh, it's been something that I've been able to do consistently this week. So as long as I just stick with what I've been doing for the last week, uh, we should be all right. Big one, but we gotta go do it. So I'm excited to get out there and give her a go. Good. Go ahead, take one. Start. Launching this morning with a five pound lead. That's Max's first for the day. Isaac Lockett started the day in third, nearly seven pounds behind Max. With his eyes Fish. locked on his Garmin Live Scope, he's scanning the screen for targets. Ready? Ready? Get her. Get her. Yes! Oh Whoa, nice fish. Good start. Beautiful fish. Start the morning. With that fish, Lockage that. makes a big dent right. in that seven pound weight gap between him and the leader. Corey Heiser came into this event 36th in the Progressive Angler of the Year standings. Needing a good finish to secure a spot in the championship. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> 
No! Look at that. That's exactly what we're doing. You see, he just nosed on the, just nosed on that champ swimmer. Look at that. Another just giant, beautiful St. Mary's walleye. Back on Isaac Lockage, pitching to moving targets, Got sets the hook on his second, and co-angler Kay Howley grabs the net. Fight yourself out down there. I don't want you doing that on the surface. Big thing when fighting these big fish, you gotta just let them fight down below the boat, not when they're at the top. Especially this bait I'm using right now, it's, you usually get a hook in them, you got them. You just gotta let them tire out a little bit. I got my drag set real light. Here she comes, we're gonna get her right here. Ready? Yes. Ready? Here she comes. Get her. Yes! There we go, whoa, that, that is a hog. <sighs> Number two, baby. Number two. Oh man, I saw them a couple way down on bottom, just tight to the rocks and watched her just shoot forward 30 feet for that thing. What do I do with that pliers? Uh, right here. Oh, thank you. <sighs> okay, two. Number two. Another great one. That fish was actually off to the side of the hump on the edge of it. It was really hard to see. Uh, you really got to have your electronics dialed to pick those fish up when they're sitting about a quarter inch off bottom. But we saw her, we got her, we got two in the boat. We don't need to move too far to check in with the tournament leader Max Wilson and co-angler Steve Beasley. Steve, why don't you Max, up? like most of the anglers near the yeah, top, up, is okay. chasing fish on sonar. I'm going to refine these fish. So I'm live scoping them. Okay. So wherever the head of this trolling motor is pointing, that's what the live scope is seeing. Okay, gotcha. And I don't cast unless I see fish. Okay. If I get these, these ones are huge. Got them. God, they're so small today. You ready, Steve? Well, that's a big one, actually. I'll let you know, I'll let you know when. All right, take him. That boy, Steve. That's two for Max and Steve, and it's a good one. Isaac, buddy, you better be catching him. The tour will be back in 2024 with more money, bigger opportunities, and an even better progressive angler program. Check the details and the schedule at nationalwalleyetour.com. This portion of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive is brought to you by Progressive. By Triton Boats, we take America fishing. By American Fishing Tackle Company. And by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats in the Nitro Rewards Program. Coming up, we'll continue coverage from Sault Ste. Marie and the St. Mary's River in Northern Michigan. of the best just got better.
clearer images, sharper resolution, improved target separation. That's right, better. LiveScope Plus, only from Garmin. Welcome back to second day coverage from Sault Ste. Marie and the St. Mary's River. There's near $260,000 up for grabs this week, including a 2023 Triton Mercury package for the champ. Getting back to tournament coverage, we'll catch up with Richfield, Wisconsin's Isaac Lockage. Launching in third, he's chasing down the near seven pound difference between him and tournament leader, Max Wilson. So, we're looking for rock humps, uh, specifically ones that have more gravelly and actual rocks on them. There's a lot of like scalp rock or whatever you want to call it, dome rock. They look like big domes underwater. Those have some fish on them, but the ones that have like actual, like some jumbly rock to it, those are the ones that have had the better quantity of fish and quality of fish on them. Um, so right now, I mean, I'm just pulling up to another one. Those are fish right there off that rock at 25 feet. Yep. Those are fish right on bottom there. My lure is sinking right now. There it is. Come on, fish. God, just finicky today. That's a good fish too, I'm pretty sure. Looks big, here we go. And just wait, don't let yep. her get on the surface. We always let them get to the top. Yep, there we go, nice and easy. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That's another great fish. Another good one. And that's four for Isaac. Gorgeous fish. Back on Corey Heiser and Chris Reinhardt. Corey saw one swimming and put Chris right on top of it. Yes. Did I tell you where to cast or what? You bet you did, buddy. And then I told you to drop it on him? You bet you did, buddy. Is that a walleye? Yeah, it sure is. You bet you it is, buddy. You bet you it is. Hey, why don't you just cast to the right of me, Chris? Woo That's a good one. We seen these fish on active target, and I told him to cast just to the right of where I had casted, and he couldn't see it, so I told him to drop his line down. And as he dropped the line down, the fish just smoked it. So good teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, oh God, yeah. Max Wilson launched this morning looking for his second win on the tour. He's got a couple of techniques working for him, but most of his fish this morning have come oh off Lord. a jig and round. Again. He's got four in the live well, and if he lands it, this should be number five. You ready? Hang on, hang on, I'll tell you when. Take him, Steve. Boom! Damn. That is a freaking Sault Ste. Marie. We're, we're at 28 pounds right now. Oh my God. Blowing doors off. It's 825. <laughs> <laughs> this is Owen Wilcox and co-angler Joe Nickel. Fishing his professional rookie season, yes. Owen comes into the week 45th in the progressive point standings. He's gonna need a big finish to qualify in the top 40 for the championship and drop 21-13 on the scales yesterday. And with four in the well so far, it looks like he's back on target. I'm trying to get, uh, trying to pass a few guys, trying to get that first place. That would be pretty cool for my rookie year, getting a first place, my first year doing the NBT. Ranger boats, Nitro, Triton, and Mercury all offer big sponsor incentives for qualified anglers that place well. Find out how you can cash in at nationalwalleyetour.com. This portion of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive is brought to you by Garmin Electronics. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor. And by Gamakatsu and Power Pole Products and Apparel. Coming up, we are headed to weigh-in. 
born in Japan. Using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured at the strictest tolerances to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament yes, bass fishing. Sir. From household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. Come on, man, let's roll! What the? To catch the fish, you need to be one with the fish. With PowerPole shallow water anchors, you'll get the ultimate in precision, power, and control so you can catch more fish. No face paint or phony fins necessary. 20,000 years ago, the invention of the fish hook marked the beginning of sport fishing. The first fish hooks were made of wood and bone, but today, advancements in technology have resulted in the highest quality fish hooks, designed for targeting many different fish with a variety of techniques. Gamakatsu started producing world leading fish hooks in Japan in 1955. Introduced to U.S. anglers in 1992, Gamakatsu USA has a hook to catch you more fish no matter the fishing situation. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive is winding down to the final moments from stop number four in the 2023 season. This is your day one oh, tournament bad. leader, Max Wilson. Bad, bad fish. With three top tens coupled with an 11th and 13th place finish in the last six events, Max is on a bit of a tear. He also finished uh, second yeah, to no, Dwayne Gentleman no, in the 2022 yeah. Progressive Angler Just of the Year kidding. race. He Big hasn't line. won on the tour since the 2018 championship. Unofficially, he's over 20 pounds for the day, and he's ready to put this one to bed. This is the winning fish right here. Take it. Take it. Let's go! Boom! Boom shakalaga. Ah! Came off the hook. Game Perfect. over! After sacking up 33 pounds on day one with a five pound lead over second, Max has the advantage. If someone's going to beat him, they're really going to have to bring it. Back in Sault Ste. Marie, there's $260,000 in total purse. $229,000 for the pros, along with a 2023 Triton 206 and a 225 horsepower Mercury, along with some cash for the jam. Mr. John Hoyer, you're in Getting right down to it. John Hoyer locked up his third top five finish of the season with a two-day total of 44-11, earning $13,600. Eric McCoy won it all at the 2021 championship, picking up a fourth place finish here on the Sioux. He'll take home $15,000 and is back near the top as a progressive AOI contender. Coming into this event in fourth place for Angler of the Year, it was important to do well here just to stay in the top standings for that. We, we accomplished that goal, so we'll see how it shakes down. Isaac Lockage held on to his third place position with a two day total of 5106. He'll cash a check for $13,960. Corey Heiser sacked up 2606 on day two for 5409. Earning the top finishing Ranger Cup bonus, he'll head home with $24,734. And that leaves us with Mercury Pro Max Wilson. His two-day total weight is 58 pounds, 12 ounces, and that's enough to lock up his second win on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive. 32-9! What does it mean to you to win this? Man, so much. I mean, it's it's not so much about the trophy, and that's what I've said a million times. It's it's about the process to get here. Um, you know, this is, um, this is the mountaintop, right? And this is going to be awesome tonight and we're gonna have a celebration, but tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and I'm going back to work, I'm going guiding, you know, I'm, I'm do, it's a normal Saturday. Um, 
what this means is I've finally solidified myself. I Everything that I've done up until this point is now justified. Um, I took the things that I needed to work on and that I wanted to work on to become a better angler, and I finally, finally, finally put them into play. Um, and it's not so much the finish, it's just the product. For his efforts, he'll take home an $82,000 prize package, including that 2023 Triton 206 powered by a Mercury outboard. On the co-angler side, Trinity Schaff picked up the win, earning $7,500. Please note that due to rule infractions at this event, fines were levied and results adjusted. There is a statement available at nationalwalleytour.com. And that takes us to the Progressive Angler of the Year standings. With his fifth place finish, Ranger Berkeley Pro John Hoyer takes over the top spot heading into the championship on Devil's Lake. A big thanks to the great folks in Sault Ste. Marie. If your travels take you to the Upper Peninsula, hear a few words from Linda Hoth. Sault Ste. Marie is the oldest city in the Midwest. and We've been here a very, very long time, since 1668. We have everything here. The Tower of History is a 210 foot tall. It is a place where you can go and you can actually see all of Sault Ste. Marie. Lake Superior uh, State University has the uh, Great Lakes uh, Freshwater Research Center. It is a great place to understand how important the river is, the water is. The Sulunx is extremely important, not just, not just to the commerce, but to tourism in Sault Ste. Marie. If you want to come to Sault Ste. Marie, we, uh, we have, our website is uh, SueStMarie.com and that's S-A-U-L-T-S-T-E-M-A-R-I-E.com. That wraps up another week on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive. Check out the 2024 season schedule on our website. And for the very best selection of gear, tackle, and electronics, head on over to Bass Pro or Cabela's.com. We'll see you next time from the 2023 championship on South Dakota's Devil's Lake.